leading the team in slugging, I believe. Um, had that huge grand slam yesterday. Uh, what is it just kind of like to be in a groove like that? What does it feel like when you're hitting that well? Um, it's great to be able to be in the leadoff position this year and just know that like I'm going to be on base majority of the time and being on base uh, to get my other runner or other batters to be able to just score me and to start off that first inning really strong. And then to talk about depth, you say that it feels good to have people behind you to bring you in. Um, it seems like everyone on this team can hit just as well as anyone else. How does that feel when the whole team and the whole lineup seems to be clicking? Um, it feels really good that when I'm having an off day, I know that the rest of the lineup is going to come in. And no matter where we start in the lineup, I know that we're going to start on and that we're going to have the ability to score runners in any opportunity. All right. Um, sweeping UAB, a team that you won't play in conference play, but it's still the Conference USA level of competition. Um, how much of a confidence boost is that for the whole team to know that they can hold their own against these kind of teams? Um, yeah, it was really good, um, especially since we only got to play the one conference last year. Um, going into this year, we know that UAB is going to be a tough competitor in everything, even though it doesn't count as conference. To get that glimpse of what conference really is about, it was really good to see that. All right, perfect. Thanks. All right. We'll have somebody else in a second here. All right, Jake, we've got Kennedy Sullivan here. Go ahead with your question when you're ready. Uh, hey, Kennedy, it's Jake from the College Heights Herald. Um, you've had a really interesting year so far. You've been able to, to start twice, pitch really well, and you've also been able to hit. Um, what's it like being a two-way player, and how do you feel you've uh, been able to really – um, help your squad with your unique talents? Um, I definitely love being able to play multiple positions. I think um, like one day I'm struggling at the plate. I know that I can really uh, back up the other pitchers um, in the outfield, giving 100% there. Or um, if I'm not pitching, I can really contribute um, at the plate. So it's just really cool to be able to um, contribute in all different aspects because you know, you're not going to be on every game. Um, you're one of four pitchers that have been used to start games this season. What is it like to have that much depth in the rotation, knowing that if you can't pitch well, then three other girls can also help out? Um, it's always – we've always had a really strong pitching staff. And, you know, whenever um, one of us struggles, we always – we have each other's backs, and we know that, um, that no matter what, there's always going to be someone next to us that's going to pick us up uh, if we're having an off day or – um, to fin close a game or anything. So it's, it's really cool having four strong pitchers. Uh, down the line in your career, maybe next year onwards, if you've become a uh, part of the main rotation, would you still really want to fight to be hitting as well? Or do you think you'll just have to focus on pitching? Um, I really love hitting and I, I think hitting's fun. Obviously pitching's really fun too, but I would just hope to be able to put a lot of time into both and really try to excel at both. Um, even if if the team needs me more pitching, then we can focus more on that. But I hope to um, just focus on both, hopefully. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we're halfway there, Jake. There we go. All right, we've got Taylor Sanders here. Go ahead with your questions when you're ready. All right, hey Taylor, it's Jake with College Heights Herald. You had a big double today, that bases clearing one to put you guys up three to one. Um, you've contributed really well this year, especially as a redshirt freshman, uh, leading the team with six home runs. How does it feel to be able to contribute uh, this early in your career? Um, it's great, but you have to. Everybody gets on, so it's just like doing my job, making sure that I'm scoring the runners. So it's just nice to have them on, and then whenever they get it going, I'm in there with them. And I'm just like I'm gonna keep passing the bat. So it's really just making my like my teammates get it done first, and then I'm following after him. So that's pretty cool. So it seems like everyone on the team is really clicking right now, especially in this series. It seems like everyone is on fire. Uh, what is the atmosphere like in the dugout when your team just keeps getting on base, keeps scoring, keeps winning? Um, it's pretty lit. <laughs> but everybody's always up. And it's cool coming in the dugout, and everybody's just like, like all over you. It's just like, dang, like my team really has my back. So it's just nice. That everybody has everybody's back and whenever everybody's up everybody's up and even if you're down they're going to keep the, keep you up so it's nice any nerves going into the game against kentucky on wednesday or y'all just going to keep your heads down and go do what you do best um, we're just going to go to work and do what we have to do and we're just going to try to come out and practice hard so we can get the
W. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Jake, last but not least, for players, we've got Kelsey Ike. Go ahead with questions when you're ready. All right, hey, Kelsey, it's Jake with the College Heights Herald. Um, you pitched all five innings of that run rule game yesterday, and you pitched uh, two or three today. Uh, you pitched the bulk of the innings for this team this season. Um, what kind of uh, responsibility does taking that load of the, the innings uh, give you? Does it you know, have an effect on you mentally, or are you just kind of good at tuning out all the pressure and just going to work? I actually love pressure, so I do good in pressured situations. But whenever I'm handed the ball, I just go out there and try to do my best. And um, this year, totally confident with my defense behind me. So whenever I get handed the ball, I just do what I got to do. So it looks like this pitching rotation is incredibly solid. You have four good arms that can pitch in any given moment. Uh, what's it like to have that much depth on any given day, knowing that if someone has a rough outing, they have someone that can pick up the slack right after them? I mean, it feels really good, whether you're in a starting position or if you have to co come in for the closing position. Um, all of our staff, we I mean, just like I said, whenever you get handed the ball, we're just good at coming in and doing what we need to do, whether it is starting or uh, closing. But um, we're really close with all of our all of the pitchers on the team. So if somebody's not doing good that day, you know that somebody's going to have your back. Uh, Gardner and Sullivan have both pitched really, really well to the younger girls. Have you been kind of like a, a mentor figure to them as they've begun to find themselves as pitchers? We try and communicate every day, like what's happening, like um, where we can miss and where we can't miss. So um, if you get innings, it's really good to communicate whether you're senior or freshman, um, just letting them know um, what to do when you go in the game. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, Jake, give us just one minute and we'll be back with Coach Tudor. Perfect. All right, Jake, we're here with Coach Tudor. Go ahead with your questions when you're ready. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jake Moore with the College Heights Herald. 14-4 um, and four right now with two games left to, to play until you guys get into conference play. Um, obviously, uh, a sweep against UAB, another conference USA rival that you won't be playing later on, but still kind of a measure of the talent you'll be facing. Um, how do you assess the team at this point moving forward? You know, I really feel like uh, from this weekend, we had a lot of contributors that were – uh, both offense and in the circle, we made some great plays defensively. Um, I feel like our depth is is really important as we move forward um, into conference play. That will start very soon. Uh, we have Kentucky coming up, but um, I was just impressed on how we hit the ball all weekend. Um, you spoke about depth, uh, depth earlier on in the season before the season started, saying you have a lot of good pitchers now that you can trust. And it seems like everyone in this lineup has been hitting really well. Um, for you as a coach, knowing that you can basically plug anybody in and they'll play really well, how does that feel? Yeah, you know, it's great to have options. Um, you know, someone's seeing the ball better that day. You know, they can pass the bat to someone else. Uh, you know, I feel like we have a good mix of speed and power, uh, and that's something that um, has aided us in, in these games. So, obviously, the home runs are great, but I feel like we were able to – to move runners, steal bags, um, and just have a, a complete offense. So I feel like that's good. I feel like when someone goes down, the next person's ready. Um, and I felt like this weekend um, when, when Thomas went out, Jordan Ridge stepped up, took over, uh, fulfilled that position nicely. So uh, any other players you think that have really stepped up? I know Kennedy Foote has had some pinch hit appearances and she's made the most of that. Anybody else that we should keep an eye on as the season progresses? Well, I think it can be anyone at this point. I feel like, you know, in these games this weekend, I felt like multiple players stepped up um, in key moments. Someone gets it started, someone finishes it. Um, you know, I think their numbers speak for themselves. And so once we're all clicking, I think that we have a really good shot to put up some big numbers. Are there any nerves heading into the game against Kentucky, or is it just more of the same, just go to work? No, I mean, I don't think there's there's nerves. I feel like, you know, you respect your, all your opponents that you play. Um, come up with a good game plan. Uh, you know, Kentucky's a really good team. We have to play our best ball against them. Uh, but I feel like that against a lot of teams. Um, they're well coached. Um, they've got a lot of depth as well. Uh, so it should be a fun matchup. And then looking ahead to conference play in a few weeks, are there any matchups or series that you've kind of got your eye on as teams to watch out for, really critical series? 
you know, I think they're all critical at this point since we play four games against all the C CUSA opponents. So, uh, you know, you can't take, a, take a, day, a game off or a day off. You know, at any moment, something could happen crazy and things turn for your benefit or they may turn against you. So it's like, how resilient can you be this season? And so um, I was really proud of the team this weekend. I felt like we were fighters and we were resilient. resilient. All right, thank you very much. Good luck on Wednesday night. Thank you, appreciate it.